Greetings agents, Fiot here, and in this video we will be reviewing and comparing both the 1903 and the Stingray, the two main sniper rifles of Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 4 Remake by extension. I am not covering the CQBR here because that is a totally different beast. We're gonna have a vid about it as soon as possible and I'll have to make a statement on why people hate it and uh, why I think it's a little misinterpreted what you're supposed to be doing with it. So this will be both a review for both sniper rifles and a comparison as I said. That's mainly because they are precision rifles. As you see here in the gameplay what I'm doing is mainly snapping a holes so there's not much to say about what's happening it wouldn't be really that much value for the viewer if i made one vid saying that this is awesome and another video saying that is awesome as well so i merged them created one coherent vid and you'll get all the info you need in this one including stats and so on and so forth so get a cold one sit down and enjoy. So, what's the deal with these two beauties? Let's take a look at the stats first. The SRM1903 is a bolt action sniper rifle, boasts a power of 5.3 times 2 if you unlock the exclusive, that 10.6, pretty sick for a sniper, ammo capacity of 13, reload speed of 061 if you upgrade it rate of fire of 0 0.53 and precision of 520 it's pretty much pinpoint accurate if you ask me its perks include three times the power it gets weak points that is exposed parts for the garadors heads for most humanoids and so on and so forth penetration power compatible with various scopes and twice the power because of the exclusive this was my favorite gun in the OG and I went for the first run of my remake playthrough with the same gun and I was not disappointed. It is amazing. The sheer power it brings to the table cannot be underestimated. There is one issue when using the 1903 though. We live in a different world than we did in 2005 people stationary aiming it's not a thing anymore in this kind of game and resident evil 4 remake is a must faster and more fluid game than the og was this means that the time it takes leon to get another bullet ready to be fired by bolt actioning the rifle you might be overwhelmed if you are out of position plus if you are fighting regenerators the one enemy time that will be killed by using a rifle nine out of ten times except for the scoped smg i suppose but that's a discussion for another day you really have to make each and every shot count because if you miss or if you hit a bulk of flesh the downtime is gonna cause you trouble. I know because I did one hardcore and one professional run with this and the regenerator parts, well, they were always a bit problematic. Firepower wise, precision wise, it really can't be beat. Each one of these bullets will cause immense damage, especially if you're going for weak spots. And it's so cool man the bolt action since the og leon's fingers working the liver you know okay we're getting we're getting we're getting ahead of ourselves here great gun guys then 1903 is excellent let's run the comparison now we're looking at the stingray a semi-automatic rifle that has pretty much the same characteristics boast power of 4.9 that is not doubled if you get its exclusive ammo capacity of 18 that is 8 more reload speed of 118 on paper 
this sounds slower but I'm going to show you what the game means when it says that the load speed is 061 I'm gonna shoot a few shots there and I'm reloading it's fast but it's the way the gun is handled that causes so much downtime you have to wait for every bullet to be prepared and you also have to wait for an actual reload animation when you deplete the 13 bullets that are in the mag whilst firing the stingray you're listening to the clicking of my mouse by the way your downtime is vastly reduced the only thing you have to worry about is the actual reload when the time comes and the time for that is 118 rate of fire now is where things are getting pretty ridiculous it's 0 0.92 that is more or less a bullet per second but if you get the exclusive it goes to 1.84 that's almost two bullets a second and this is bullets will penetration that will go through enemies and hit enemies in the back and of course will go to the weak spots of regenerators if you're using the bioscope the bioscope is not what gives you the ability to hit those marks it's that it will give you knowledge of where the marks are precision is 5.4 again excellent pinpoint accurate over any distance will be compatible with the same scopes as the 1903 so what's my suggestion it depends on the style the same thing i said when i reviewed and compared the w870 with the riot gun stingray for the majority of your run will give you semi-automatic fire for more or less the same damage is only during the end game phases of the game where you will feel the power of the 1903 because it's for starter 0.4 stronger by default which is not as mind-boggling but this times two here makes an insane difference even if you don't create on headshots sometimes the sheer damage you're causing is gonna pop the heads so you have pretty much the most consistent headshot machine in the game stingray yeah it will probably get the job done anyway as well but the damage output you're seeing bullet per bullet it's gonna be lower now there are two metrics we have to consider here one is dps damage per second and one is uh, the ds damage per shot um it boils down to how you're gonna use this stingray much more compact and much more dependable even for closer quarters the 1903 not so much unless you take off the scope and go commando with it but i wouldn't really suggest you use it that way there is another rifle in the game that can be used in that fashion but it is so far removed in utility from these two that will warrant its own vid like the cqbr is a totally different beast none of these two will cause you problems throughout your playthrough that's something i want to underline here it's not like we're talking damage and we're discussing shotguns and skull shaker is in the discussion these two will both serve you perfectly they are amazing weapons both of them and uh, having played extensively with both of them i can tell you that the stingray will probably net you a more relaxed experience but the 1903 brings in the satisfaction of landing those shots and seeing that flick the casing coming out and the new bullet being loaded in and it feels so damn good so guys this is my review slash comparison of the sr1903 and the stingray i hope you found this useful i've already covered a lot of guns in resident evil 4 remake there is a whole 
playlist on my channel including all these vids and I will have an annotation for them at the end of this one. So sub like share, hit the notification bell. If you really want to help the channel out, consider Patreon and get a membership. And until next time, be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!